For classic matches just like the World Cup videos, why not go to patreon.com forward slash drunk redhead. Let's lay off the smack us down with what happened on my universe mode. It's Smackdown, so get the fireworks out, lads. We were in Denver, Colorado, and we opened up with the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, walking out with the Intercontinental title. Or at least he would have had the Intercontinental title had the promo stuff let you have the belts but they don't so instead he had a microphone he had something to say not what it said on the screen except for ignore this you can ignore that because what he actually said was he was putting the intercontinental title up for grabs 24 7 crash holly style oh yeah that's gonna be fun in the opening contest on smackdown we saw a couple of debuts first kurt hawkins came out with his stick followed by his opponent for the evening the glorious one Bobby Roode. Hawkins got the best of the opening exchanges with a kind of neck breaker followed by some stomps on Roode's hand. After doing that, Kurt Hawkins went for a slam but Bobby Roode was ready and reversed, pushed him away and then took him out with a neck breaker of his own. And then another neck breaker, a different style, followed by a TKO which is also a kind of neck breaker. Bobby Roode hit a spine buster and then finished Kurt Hawkins off with the glorious DDT. 1-2-3 and Bobby Roode was victorious on his Smackdown debut. Unlike on the real Smackdown, Bobby Roode appears to be a heel on this one because he beat the hell out of Kurt Hawkins after the match. So after all that action, the one match, Universe Mode decided it was time for another promo. So out walked the brand new world champion, The Miz. The Miz started off his promo by basically telling the crowd to shut up. But before he could say anything else, he was interrupted by Christian and his awesome music. Which you can't hear because WWE won't let you clip it using Xbox. Anyway, Christian, he had something to say. Christian said that he should be careful what he wished for, but The Miz retorted by telling him he had no class. Christian wanted to prove what he was capable of and wanted it now. The Miz said he would end up with his face down eating dirt. Christian told The Miz that his mouth was writing checks his body can't cash. The Miz then said he wanted a match at the pay-per-view with the entire world watching. Christian was ready to go. And then they stared down, ready for this apparent match at the pay-per-view. There was another match next as the Tag Team Champions Team Fuckboy! That's Roman Reigns and John Cena took on the team of Heath Slater and Rhino. This match started as you would expect with John Cena taking out Heath Slater from the off. He then powerbombed him down and hit some double teamers with Roman hitting an elbow. Following this, Heath Slater managed to get a hot tag and let Rhino let rip on Roman Reigns. But as soon as Roman Reigns hit the reversal, you knew what was happening at the end of this match. Reigns hit Rhino with a Superman punch and a massive dive to the outside. He then made sure Heath Slater wasn't going to be a problem before tagging into Cena and hitting more double teamness. All John Cena had to do after that was hit the AA and pin Rhino for a 1 2 3. The tag team champions are victorious once again. There was a commotion happening backstage as AJ Styles seemed to have his first 24 7 challenger, Jinder Mahal, attacking him from behind. Jinder dominated in the hallway, but when they hit the dressing room, AJ Styles got his bearings back and took out Jinder Mahal. Unfortunately for him though, Jinder got a reversal. Jinder Mahal threw the phenomenal one into several things around the dressing room before AJ Styles finally got a reversal, hitting a jawbreaker and then the Styles clash on the modern day Maharaja to keep him down. Styles then escaping with his Intercontinental Championship. In the semi-final match of the evening, it was women's action as Bailey took on Maurice. Bailey had the advantage to start off in this match, hitting a running bulldog and then a snap suplex before eventually Maurice would catch her leg. Maurice took control with an elbow before focusing on Bailey's head, smashing it into her knee and then smashing it into the floor. She then nailed a Michinoku driver. Maurice missed a splash off the second rope, letting Bailey back into the match. First she hit a dirty German suplex, then a drop kick through the bottom rope to the outside, which looked quite cool. A DDT followed that, and then a Bailey plex, and then a Bailey to Bailey suplex. And that was it for Maurice. Bailey got the win. 
Before the main event, once again, we headed backstage as AJ Styles was trying to get some catering when Titus O'Neil hit him with a Russian leg sweep and a massive powerbomb. Titus threw AJ Styles into the halls, but that just caused AJ to get a reversal, hit an elbow, hit a Pele kick, and then grab the fire extinguisher, which he used to good effect. Before he could use it again, though, Titus reversed and threw it away. Titus O'Neil tried to take AJ Styles up the halls of the arena but eventually would get reversed again, punched in the face and then he hit his DVD to the knee before hitting a Styles Clash once again, keeping O'Neil down and again AJ Styles escaped as champion. And so that leaves us with the last match of the week and our Smackdown main event as the former world champion The Big Show took on one of SmackDown's newest superstars, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura started this one with Fury first a knee to the face and then a punch to the face and then another knee to the face. Big Show had enough of all this striking and reversed the next one. Smashing Nakamura with a backbreaker and a fallaway slam. He went for a slam after that, but Nakamura reversed and hit a reverse DDT and a massive knee to the gut. Surprisingly, Big Show got up quite quickly after that, nailing Shinsuke Nakamura with a big alley-oop and a big elbow off the second rope. However, Nakamura got his reversal with a jawbreaker, then a DDT, and he followed that up with some horrible knees to the head of Big Show. There was only one thing left for Shinsuke Nakamura to do. Kinshasa indeed, Nakamura pinned Big Show and was victorious. And that is it for this edition of What Happened on My Universe Mode. Raw next, like and subscribe.